Hello guys, welcome back to Animotion. Today we're gonna learn how to use the camera tool and I'm just gonna show you the basic movement using camera tool and also how to use depth of field. So let's create a composition, call it basic camera and we'll leave the duration to 5 seconds. Now I wanna create a background solid, so right click, new and then solid. I'm just gonna leave it as dark grey color. We just want to lock this layer because we're not going to touch it. It's just going to act as a background. And I'm going to turn on my title save. For this tutorial, I'm going to create an outline shape. I'm just going to create triangle. So basically select this pen tool or you can hit G on your keyboard. And you have to turn off the fill. Basically, in order to do that, just click on the fill and then select this icon none, and then hit OK. And in the stroke, you can just choose the color and choose the stroke with so I'm just going to click away and create my triangle. I'm going to call it triangle 1 and I'm going to duplicate that twice um, using Control D. And I'm just going to change the color of the other triangles. I'm going to change that to white and this one. Let's change that to pink color. Now if you move this around, obviously it's just going to move into the space which is um, X and Y axis. What we want to do is to turn them into 3D objects so that we can move them in Z depth as well. So in order to do that, you just have to turn on this 3D layer. So if you click on that, you see when you turn that on, there's three arrows here. The green one is the Y axis. So if you move that up and down and X axis is the red arrow. And you can see here, you can't really see it clearly, but that's the Z, Z depth. So you're moving it in set depth basically. And next step, let's create the camera layer. So right click, new camera. Usually I would just leave this as default. And for this, I just choose one node camera because we're just gonna do basic stuff. And I hit okay. Nothing happens because your camera is just looking straight, straight onto your shapes. So we can change the view layout. So if you click on here, there's like two views, horizontal, two views, vertical, and four views. For example, if you choose four views, you can see the camera and your object from the top view, front view, right view, and then there's the active camera. Active camera is basically what your camera is looking. If you, for example, move the camera forward in Z depth, your active camera is going to change. It's, it's just basically what the camera is seeing. So I'm just going to change it to two views horizontal because that just saves up a lot of space. Yeah, so in order to move the camera, it's basically just hover over those arrows. And if you want to move in Z depth, hover over the blue one and make sure it's the arrow says Z. Because sometimes like you think you hover over the Z depth, but it's actually, I don't know, like for example, Y. And it's just not moving the in the direction that you want. So just make sure when you hover over, it says the arrows that you actually want it. Before we animate the camera, let's move these triangles around. So I'm just gonna leave triangle 2 where it is and for triangle 1, I'm gonna move it forward. Again, hover over these blue arrows, which is the Z depth. Move it forward like that and the triangle 3, move it backward like that. Now we can animate the camera. So click on your camera, hit P and we'll animate the position. Activate the keyframe on the first frame of your composition. Go to the last frame to, of your composition. And you can either move the arrows from the top view, like that, or you can also do it from here, whichever you want. But I usually just do it from here because it's much faster. If you preview that, your camera is moving now. Perfect. Easy, right? Now. To make it more interesting, I think I'm going to animate the rotation of these triangles. Okay, we're going to animate them one by one. So triangle three, I'll start it from 45 maybe, and then change this to one times 45. One times mean basically means that it's going to go around one time. For triangle two, I'm going to start from 100 maybe, and then instead of putting one i'm gonna put minus one. Oh, it's just gonna change it to that doesn't really matter yeah just change the number however you want and this one 90 and say i don't 
300. It's just so that all of the triangles move in different speed and different direction just to make it more interesting. So yeah, that's just really how you animate um, your camera with the position. And you know, you can just do more compli complicated stuff. For example, um, you know, you can add another position camera here and um, if you go back to the two views horizontal and make the camera move slightly to the left maybe so it just kind of like does that you can animate the y-axis as well maybe so like yeah do it whatever you want but I just want to leave it as simple as possible for this tutorial but feel free to experiment we're gonna do the depth of field now this is the fun part so if you double click on that uh, layer and then go to camera options and see here my depth of field is already on but the reason why you don't see any blur is because the aperture is quite low so I'm gonna just bump it up for now 700 you can see it straight away there's some blur on some of the shapes if we go back to two views horizontal basically your your focus distance is over here you can't see it but if you animate it that's your fo focus distance that's what changing it so if your focus distance is on that triangle 2 it's gonna focus on triangle 2 but if you move your focus distance to focus on this first triangle there you go the other ones are blurry but your first triangle is in focus the reason why I don't animate the focus distance in this instance is because the camera is moving and the focus distance automatically is changing as well as the camera moves. So, you know, your triangle is going to be in and out of focus constantly. I guess if you want to animate the focus distance instead of the position, that can be done too. So I'm going to name this camera as position and I'm going to duplicate that, turn off the first one and then change this to differ field so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn off the position and instead of animating position I'm gonna animate the focus distance and I'll show you what it actually does so focus distance for this um, just activate the keyframe go to the very last frame we want to make the focus switch from the second triangle to say the very back one so let's just animate that and make sure that focus distance here um, goes on that last triangle. There. So it's basically, I'm going to bump it up to half because you can't really see it. So the last triangle is now um, in focus, whereas the other one is not. So if you animate this, you, if you render it. Okay, you can't really see it because... The distance is too far so maybe let's try drag it down to that and then on the last frame maybe if we go back to two views horizontal again make the focus distance focus on the first triangle maybe let's just experiment and see how it looks all right if you preview this you're already seeing you see how the focus distance changes over time that's just how you animate the focus distance. So that's it. That's how you animate camera. And how, that's how you animate focus distance as well. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.